what's up guys this is daniel from arms family homestead and this video is a continuation of our last video i showed you guys we were getting started houston was so excited about planting those watermelons i just didn't want to try to squeeze all of that footage into the uh barrel house cooker video when we shot it i didn't realize we were going to have that much footage of houston out here planting seeds so little guy and i just cut that one short on you and kind of left you hanging Anyways, we'll pick back up with that right after we get through here and uh, pick back up where we left off. Okay, so this is all piecing this back together. I hope you guys are following me here because this guy's not following me, are you? No. <laughs> all right, so back to planting watermelons. When they called it spring break, Houston said, that means it's spring. Huh, Houston? Uh -huh. So when Houston figured out Spring break means it's got to be spring, right? Yeah, tomorrow's spring and we're going to plant some watermelons. So that word spring tripped off a little <laughs> fuse in Houston's brain and said, it's time to plant watermelons. So he's dead set that we plant some watermelon seeds. I don't know where you're going to put them at, though. I know where to put them. So before we get too far off into this, here's the plan. Houston and I are gonna use some of these old six packs because when we buy plants, we just save the six packs and the trays sometimes and plant directly in those. But instead of using soil blocks like we typically do, soil blocks are kind of small. So something like a watermelon squash, things like that, don't really do great in those little soil blocks. There's just not enough there for them. And instead of using the bagged potting mix like I typically use for starting seeds, we're just gonna go sift some of my own compost out because check this out, okay? So you guys are familiar with my experiment, my goat manure, compost, and potting mix experiment. Well, let's give you a little update. This was all started on February 14th, Valentine's Day. This is the progress on straight goat manure there is my compost look how much bigger these plants are they're huge that is awesome now Daddy, here's the potting mix this is pathetic these were started directly in straight potting mix and they're not doing real great hey you're blocking my light buddy back up so there's the straight potting mix compost goat manure so we're going to start some seeds straight in some compost daddy um, yes, sir. I, mean, I need to show you my carrots down here oh you want to show them the carrots look they're big oh yeah they sure are why don't you pull one up like maybe right here pull this one up which one we'll see what we get right there Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. You picked the right one, Dad. That's a big carrot, man. I know. So here's the thing. A lot of people don't believe that you can take a kid out in the garden and they'll pull vegetables straight out of the ground and eat them. Well, the proof is in the pudding right here. I can't wait for my white melons to be big so I can eat them. I'll be like, yum, 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 yum. Well, let's see you eat that carrot. Better slow down. Can I have a bite? I think your chickens are wanting to bite too, but we're not they're not getting a carrot, are they? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm getting a stem. So how's that carrot taste? Good. You like it? Mm -hmm. Alright, Houston, here's our plan. Here's what we're gonna do, buddy. Your head's getting cut out of the screen. Houston's still eating his carrot back there, by the way. So here's our plan. We're gonna plant directly, we're gonna start these seeds directly in compost. But I don't wanna deal with all these big sticks and stuff, so here's what I've got. I've got that's how I sift my compost a lot of times. Two trays, I'll take two seed starting, you know, trays, put them together just so it's a little stronger. And I've got a nice little tub. Fill that full of compost. Shake away, shake away, shake away. And you get nice sifted compost that you get rid of all the big pieces in. You ready? Alright, Houston. You think you can put some compost in there can you for do us? That, please? Well, can I eat it? Yeah. Huh? He gave me his carrot. There you go. All right. 
don't get it too full now grab a hold of that tray and just shake it back and forth okay, let me get that shovel out of your way shake it side to side there you go don't fall down all right now hold what you got all right Houston look after we sifted our compost you see what we ended up with all the big pieces mm -hmm. and then there's our sifted compost that's how we do it right there Spread it out. Good job, Houston. Got a whole tub full of that black gold compost, huh? Uh huh. You think you can carry that in the greenhouse? I bet. Uh. Oh my gosh, man, you're strong. Uh. I like running the camera and make you do all the work. Uh. You're doing a great job. Uh. Ah. Good work, man. When I grow up, I'm gonna be strong like you, buddy. So slight change of plans. I think instead of planting Houston's watermelons in the six packs, I wanna go with something a little bit bigger. And I just so happened to find some little containers laying around, little six inch pots. So Houston's gonna fill these up and that way we can leave his watermelons in here a lot longer. There's a lot more soil for them. They can stay in this a lot longer until we're ready to get them planted in the ground. Hey, they're yeah. out. We're going to plant them in the ground out there. Out there? Yeah. Got one. Got one. Put it over there in the tray. There we go. Look at that. All right, Houston. This is the moment you've been waiting for. So you've been I wanting to plant your watermelons for I don't know how long. We're gonna do it today. Are you excited? Yeah. Are you excited? Yes. Really? Are you yes. sure? Yes. All right. So tell us so what you're doing here. All of these brown ones go in this tray, and these ones go in that tray. Okay. So we're planting two kinds of watermelon. Say Jubilee. Jubilee. And Crimson Sweet. And Crimson Sweet. Houston's gonna put about two seeds in each pot. Or, or one. I, can put it. I would put two just in case so you make sure that they all have at least one plant that comes up. You sure you know what you're doing? Mm -hmm. Do you think other little kids out there could learn how to garden from you? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Those dumb chickens. Why'd you say that? They're dumb. So this one goes in this tray. This one goes in this tray. Push it down in there. You got them marked so you'll know which one's which. Mm -hmm. Alright, what's the next step? Um, water them. Water them. Water them easy, okay? It's Weston. Hold up my pot. There you go. Easy. Water them easy, buddy. There you go. Gotta water them in good, huh? I can tell this one's gonna be the first one growing and this one is going to be the first one growing. How can you tell that? Because I watered this one and this one first. You heard it from Houston. He knows which one's going to grow first because that was the first one he watered. So I guess they have like a three second head start on the rest of them. Hey, they're right. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed that. Houston got some of his watermelon seeds started, just a couple different varieties. We didn't plant, you know, last year we saved seeds from that huge yellow watermelon. 
and his big 93, 94, 95 pound watermelon, whatever it was that Leon gave us, we did save seeds from that. So we got to get those seeds started also and a few other things that Houston wants to do. But anyways, guys, spring is here. Houston's excited about spring. And I want to plant pumpkins. There you go. Houston loves spring. Who doesn't love spring? Everything greens up. The weather's beautiful. It's amazing. Guys, I'm so sorry to hear so many of you are still buried under 18 inches, 12 inches, a foot, whatever it was. All that snow, it is amazing in Oklahoma right now. And uh, we're taking full advantage of it. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed that. Sorry for the uh, to be continued part of the uh, video the other day. Kind of left you hanging on that one. But you got your fix on Houston planting his watermelon seeds. Thanks for watching, guys. Y'all have a great day. And as always, we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Has anyone seen Bigfoot lately? Sasquatch? Skunk ape? Big, hairy, stinky, man-like creature? Just a bunch of squeaking goats. <laughs>